In this problem, we want to find the angular speed in revolutions per minute of a centrifuge based on this information that's given to us. So since we're looking at a rotational motion here, we'll look at the formula for centripetal acceleration, which is equal to the square of the speed divided by r. We can use this to solve for v by multiplying both sides of the equation by r and then taking the square root. So the speed of the particle is equal to the square root of the angular acceleration times r. Now we're given the angular acceleration. It's given to us as 125,000 g's. So we can just simply take this number and then multiply it by 9.8 meters per second squared to get the actual centripetal acceleration here. So we'd write this here as like 1.25 times 10 to the power of of 5, and then multiply that by 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we'd also multiply it by the radius, which is given as 7 centimeters, but we'll want to multiply it by 10 to the power of negative 2 to convert it into meters. And that gives us a speed of about 2.928 times 10 to the power of 2 meters per second. Now from there, we want to figure out, we want to take this speed and convert it into an angular speed. We're going to convert it from meters per second to revolutions per minute. So we can do this using a typical chain link conversion. So I'm going to rewrite out the speed that we found, 2.928 times 10 to the power of 2 meters per second. And first, let's convert from meters to revolutions. So one revolution is equal to 2 pi times the, the, the radius of the motion. So 7 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. This is because one revolution is a full cycle around, and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So this formula will convert from meters. So this, this, this conversion right here will convert from meters to revolutions. We also want to convert from seconds to minutes. So there are 60 seconds in one minute. So we also multiply it by this factor to convert from minutes to seconds. And so if you put this into your calculator, you find a speed of 3.99 times 10 to the power of 4 revolutions per minute, RPM. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as it'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a request for a future video, uh, or you just want to hang out, leave a comment down below, or I've got a Discord server and my Twitch page linked in the description down below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and so I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.